Bitte Unfallchirurgie, hallo. Here at the Bonn University Clinic Emergency Center, Philipp Fischer is a doctor driven by personal mission. The interesting thing about emergency medicine is that you see the effects of your work in a very short period of time. Either the patient dies or you can help them. You can relieve their pain, give them artificial respiration and save them. Fischer began his career as a paramedic before he studied medicine and became an emergency doctor. About a hundred patients are admitted to the emergency center at Bonn University Clinic every day. Specialists from several medical disciplines give them treatment. Procedures are practiced over and over. Routines are important to keep everything running smoothly. Patients whose conditions have stabilized are taken to a non-emergency ward. Fisher knows that emergency treatment doesn't always work that way. In certain situations, doctors can't assume they have all the necessary equipment or a functioning infrastructure. A real natural disaster, where the infrastructure breaks down and you have to treat hundreds of patients, well, most doctors haven't experienced that, unless they've been on missions overseas. The 37-year-old has gathered a lot of that kind of experience. He's been on first aid missions in the wake of various disasters in Haiti, Pakistan, the Philippines and Central Africa. And the trained surgeon wasn't just treating broken bones. As disaster physicians, we also have to treat children and everything from diarrhea to pneumonia in relief camps. You're a general practitioner when you go out there. Fisher took pictures in a number of disaster areas. They show how doctors have to shift gears from individual to mass treatment. Fisher and a colleague attended to a thousand people in the Philippines in just two weeks. They couldn't always treat all the patients. When we took over a hospital in Port-au-Prince, Haiti, there were 350 patients and more of them rattling at the gate every day. We had to close it and tell them we could only let in people who were bleeding or had stopped breathing. When the children he's treated are doing well, Fischer, himself a father of three, is more than pleased. When he's not out on emergencies, the physician can be found in his office on the top floor here. Scientific research is another aspect of Fisher's work. He wants to follow up on the patients he's treated in disaster areas. What was the outcome? How is the patient doing a year or so later? Can he move the badly broken leg that we treated? What's his quality of life been since then? And we want to apply the lessons we learned to our missions in the next earthquake, the next natural disaster or wars using evidence-based practice. That means only treatment that is proven effective should be used. Another of Fisher's goals is to create a European aid team. The project is called Disaster Training Curriculum, DTAC for short. It's about the European Union having the political will to form what you could call a standing humanitarian army. 400 men, women, logistics specialists, doctors, nurses, security forces, who can be sent to war zones or disaster areas in the name of the European Union. Fischer says a university chair for disaster medicine would be a major step in ensuring improvement in this field of medical care. It would also help physicians in emergency centers. In the meantime, his daily practice continues. Okay.